Now, things seem uh, unusual in the present, so why not a bit of escapism? Yeah, well, let's go back to the past. This Sunday, it's uh, time once again to turn back the clock and escape to a world of balls and banquets <laughs> in ITV's new, new drama, <laughs> Belgravia. Why not? <laughs> oh, it's very good. And we're joined by one of the show's stars now. Good morning, Philip Glenister. How are you doing? You OK there? Yeah, well, we're all right, thank you. Good morning to you. Um, very strange times, but very strange um, times. you know we're just uh, we're, we're we're lucky. We're in a lucky position that you know we've got our FaceTime to parents who are, who are a bit elderly, um, uh, some way away. And I just very quickly, if it's all right with you guys, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to my friend Karen Sugarman, who um, works tirelessly for the Shooting Star Children's Hospice, and, and indeed a mention for all the, the hospices up and down the land who I know are kind of concerned um, that they're being slightly overlooked because obviously they're charity based and um, I just you know just if there's anybody from government can just reassure them that they're going to be okay because um, I've seen firsthand how um, dedicated the staff and, and indeed everybody across the, the, the board with them um, with the hospices up and yeah. down the country. Well, the well, Shooting Star Chase sure. is a, a charity that's very close to my heart. We, we do yeah. an annual an annual event for them every year and I can't imagine what it must feel like for them sure. and for, yeah. for all of, uh, so of those people. We always describe Karen and the team that work around her as as angels. They're, I mean, they're literally yeah. angels with these with these kids. So, uh, so yeah. yes, absolutely yeah. right. I'm uh, sure you know, I'm sure government, I know that, that you know, they're, they're go, doing what they can and um, I'm sure that they will be in touch with them at some point. So I just think they were concerned that they weren't getting any feedback from, yeah. from government. So if anybody from government is watching, just give them a shout out or just, you know, email them. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> yeah, no, fair enough. Absolutely. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, let's um, let's get let's get into a, a world of escapism uh, yes. now. Um, and as I said in the introduction uh, to the clip, and to a world of balls and banquets. And, <laughs> balls uh, and banquets. And... <laughs> sort of bed and breakfast. We have balls and banquets. <laughs> <laughs> so now, obviously, um, it's episode three this Sunday. But the first yeah. two episodes really are setting up. And all period uh, drama has to do this because you you're sort of setting up the characters, aren't you? So explain. Explain where we are with everybody. Right, OK, so, um, yes, we're really... By the second episode last Sunday, we've sort of pretty much introduced all the, all the main characters. Um, and so from episode three, which actually I haven't seen myself, I haven't, I've only seen the first two, so I'll be watching for the first time on Sunday. But what I remember um, when we were filming about this time last year, so basically we have now come across Mr Charles Pope, who is um, Anne and James Trenchard's uh, grandson, and indeed, the Countess of Brockenhurst's grandson, um, played by obviously the wonderful Tamsin Gregg, who plays Anne, and, and the magnificent. Um, uh, never Lord, never start down that, you, that path. Harriet there Walters. you go. It's always tricky oh, to start no. down that path. <laughs> yeah, and so really, um, it's it's about their. Uh, that's all coming out, and so at this stage, Anne and James are basically at loggerheads, and she's really not speaking to him. <laughs> um, and uh, so it's, it's kind of a difficult one to describe really because there's so much going on in each episode and so many new characters and there's so many different storylines that I can only really sort of talk about my own one in many respects because well, he's when a, we shot he's it, a we bit were of all a, sort of in different days. He's a bit of a, what a, like a social climber. He's very worried about his position in society really but funnily enough, he's a sort yeah. of soft, softer character to the one that you're used to playing. Yeah, well, I mean, he's um, he's kind of interesting because what we're seeing at this period, it's kind of the birth, if you like, of the um, of the middle classes, you know, or the, even sort of the nouveau riche. So he's very much a, a self-made man. He's come from from he was kind of a, like a barrow boy or something like that, and he's become incredibly entrepreneurial and just worked his way up and up and up, and ended up getting into business with um, the Cubits, who actually were real and did really build Belgravia. Um, and so he's a terrible social climber in many respects. And whereas his, as his wife, Anne, is um, far more, um, you know, sort of grounded in many respects. And, and he's married above his station because she comes from, um, I think, pretty good stock of, of school teachers, etc. cetera. So, um, so she's not really interested in the social climbing, whereas he is. And this is the sort of secret now that it's come out, that this could destroy everything he sort of worked for. And so this is why it's causing such tension. And so for you, you tend to do um, period dramas 
literally once every 10 years, it seems. Is that something yeah. to do with the costumes? Because you're not, you're not a fan of that, are you? I don't think any, any actor's a fan of... I mean, I, I can't, we can't really complain because what the poor women had to go through in those corsets all day. I mean, mine was fine, actually. I, just, I was quite loose-fitting. Um, but, um, yes, no, it's just there's a lot of buttons to do up. Well, also, Ricardo, you were, uh, I'm watching scenes with you in them now and uh, there's no guarantee that you've actually got any shoes on. You could very well be doing those scenes in your stocking feet or in trainers. Funny you should say that, Phil, because, yes, we had um, a couple of scenes where we were sitting around the dinner table, which took quite a long time to shoot. So I think you'll find that we all had... Um, I think um, Tamsin probably wore her snugs, what are they called, um, and I had my... Uh, my... Yeah, Uggs, Uggs, not Snugs, Uggs. <laughs> snugs is a bad Snug is a little word. room, isn't it, off the pub? That's a Snug. <laughs> and Uggs is a boot, yeah. So she had her Uggs and I had my trainers on. Yeah, definitely. Just to keep, um, just there, to keep your feet. Is there a bit of a worry now that people are going to think you're a bit posh? Never. Look at me. Me? Posh, you're having a laugh, aren't you? <laughs> I um, could do posh, like, you know, but uh, other than that, you know, we'll see. Well, that's a bit Michael Caine, so there you go. It's very Michael Caine. It might, really might. <laughs> so we, we don't know whether or not there's going to be a series two yet, but they have kept your sideburns in a drawer, is that right? So that's always a they, good sign. They, they, that they have kept back. everything, but, I mean, from what we're, we're led to believe, it, you know, because it's obviously based on Julian's book, it is a very much a self-contained, its own series, so it does have a beginning, middle and an end, so... We're not expected to do any more, but, you know, never say never. And, and in these current times, you know, we all need a bit of telly and a bit, bit of escapism and just to sort of switch off from um, the madness around us. And, uh, right, too. Yeah. You well, know. This is exactly what it we really need. It really is. I mean, it's Lovely. absolutely perfect. It's a reminder of, well, not only a reminder of, of, you know, times gone by, but it's a reminder of when actually period dramas were being made because everything has stopped now. Um, yeah. And, uh, and so hopefully it won't be long before you can make us... Make us some new stuff. In the meantime, episode three of Belgravia is Sunday at nine on ITV. And the rest, of course, you can catch up on The Hub. Thank you very much. Thank you. Lovely to talk to you. Bye-bye. Thanks, Philip. Take Bye care. Now. Bye now.